Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to Welcome Back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And in today's video, we are going to get into my tray for the month of December. These are all the beauties that will be in heavy rotation. And just keep in mind, for me, myself personally, my tray, I wear more than what's on the tray. But I do at least attempt to wear what is on the tray one or more times. <laughs> So let's start with this first one. Oh, and if I didn't say this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, okay? <laughs> and give the video a big thumbs up. So let's start with Mellow, you guys. So I spoke about this in a recent haul and I was on the fence about this when I first tried it and I kind of still am. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out on the limb and say that this is a like, okay? <laughs> But there is still something in this opening that bothers me to where I get an ever so slight pickle juice. And it's nothing crazy, um, but it's there and it's kind of like I have to you know, kind of battle through the first 10, 15 minutes. I do like the way this dries down on my skin though. So I don't think I'm going to declutter this. Um, I'm going to try and give this a full wear because I still haven't given it a full wear. Just kind of been spraying it on my arm around the house in the evenings to kind of test it out. But my plan is to give this one a full wear, wear it to work, um, kind of see people's reactions to it and see how you know I feel as I go about my day wearing this one this bottle is so beautiful though i really love the white bottles with a little pink details yeah they definitely got me on the packaging um with these newer releases um but yeah so that's mellow and this is from the house of soradora i am going to be purchasing Janny because i sampled that one and it was an absolute love for me so yeah i guess we'll have two white bottles in the collection soon all right, so the next one is going to be one that I have completely changed my mind about. <laughs> this is Saint Noir, and this is Beyonce's fragrance in celebration of the Renaissance tour. And the bottle itself, I don't like the little stand that it comes in, only because not necessarily the look. I just don't like that it's not sturdy, and you pick it up and it like falls. <laughs> so I like the bottle itself. Um, I think the packaging is pretty cute. Definitely in line with the whole look of the Renaissance Tour. But the scent, when I first smelled it, I was getting like this honeyed orange blossom -y scent. And literally, I sprayed it on. Okay, cute, whatever. You know, wore it that night. And I put it back in the whole like box packaging presentation. <laughs> and it sat on my nail desk, okay? It just sat there for probably a couple weeks now. And my daughter had the little travel size one that it came with so I gave her that one and she wore it one day and I was like what in the heck do you have on it smells like something with rolls or deluxe I couldn't place it y'all she was wearing this I was not picking up on the rolls or paying attention to the rolls. something about the rolls I wasn't getting so I said you know what let me her back out and let me give her a full word to work y'all I wore this to work yesterday when I tell you I love this scent now I'm getting a lot of the rose that I really don't feel like I was getting a lot so for me I'm getting more so rose than white florals I don't know if it's just the change of season or weather now because it's cold here in Georgia this week um where I feel like my skin was just pulling more orange blossom or white flor florals or whatever and now I'm getting like this honeyed rose, but it's got this like little sexy quality. Not really any spices listed to my knowledge, or maybe I'm just forgetting. But this comes off as quite sexy date night rose floral. It's sweet and I was getting so many compliments. This has a compliment factor. I was around this lady on a call yesterday for quite some time, probably about a good 20 minutes. But it was like she just couldn't help herself and at the end she was like oh my god you smell so good like what are you wearing and i had to tell her so say noir okay next date night we putting you on and we're gonna see you know the reaction that the fellas are getting because the women definitely seem to like it also got a compliment from my co-worker on it too so yeah seems to be a crowd pleaser this next one is Mula Mula Double Caramel. I am going to talk about this one more in depth in an upcoming Gourmands video, but this one wears 
very different from what I was expecting. I cannot remember what I got from the original Mula Mula when I tried it years ago. Um, but I don't have a full bottle of that. This one, I feel like it's like this gorgeous fruity nectar caramel scent with a very clean sparkling patchouli. That's what I'm getting in a nutshell. But that wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting something really rich and dark. Not necessarily dark. Rich, decadent, deep with double caramel in it. But I'm not getting that. Um, but I think some people are. <laughs> so this is why I'm always telling y'all, try these fragrances out on your skin for yourself because you never know. All right. So next up is going to be, oh, this is a love. I might wear this one tonight when I go out. You guys, House of Siage Passion de l'Amour is, I think, my very first oud scent. To me, this smells like oud and cotton candy. That is what I'm getting from this. It's so sweet. The oud, you definitely pick up on it, but I just love that they are able to really um, do feminine fragrances like nobody else, okay? And a feminine oud is just nothing better than it. I'm sorry. <laughs> like the unisex ouds are cute, but something about being able to really nail a feminine really sweet oud scent that just drives me crazy and this one is no exception the performance like every other oud in my collection is stellar stunning and this one is just one of the best from the house a lot of people agree with me <laughs> some don't but i just feel like if you're newer to ouds um give this one a try Give this one a try, and I feel like if you like this one, then rest assured that you're going to start running into a lot of ouds that you vibe with because this is, it's oudy, but it's very feminine and very sweet, all right? So this one again, Passion de l'Amour, the sexy little cupcake from the House of Siage. All right, so next up is going to be Mille Extase, okay? So we are really into that colder weather season where I feel like this is just going to reign supreme. I have been layering this with a very particular combination I'm going to talk about in my winter layering video. When I tell you this is so delicious, it's spicy, it's honey, you really get all of the gorgeousness of the, like the apricot, the honey, the spice, but the star is the honey. So you have to love honey to like this fragrance make no mistake but if that is a note that you generally vibe with and you want a powerhouse gourmand um that i feel like is actually quite unisex then this one is when you should check out this is from the house of navitas and this is done in collaboration with karina de leon and she is on youtube as uh dear makeup diary and i love this one for this time of year so we're definitely going to be giving her a lot more wares all right, so this one, you guys, when I tell you Ojan has been on my wish list for some time. Last time Joma Shop had a veil, I put it in my car. I thought I had finished the whole checkout and I didn't. So I'm looking at my email, you know, a few days later. I'm like, when are they going to ship my Ojan? I haven't received any notification. You know, Joma Shop, usually when it's in stock, that gets it right out to the girls, okay? Uh, hadn't received anything. I looked through all my emails. Come to find out, I didn't even order it, you guys. <laughs> So the next time a sale rolled back around, I picked it up and guess what? I'm not even a huge fan like I thought it was. <laughs> I had a decant of this one probably, ooh, a good six months ago. When I tell you I fell in love with this thing on my skin from the decant, but something about the full body mirror experience, it just, I wasn't wowed. I was not wowed. And I'm just like, I'm telling you, there is a difference from the two mil, 0 0.7 mil, <laughs> the five mil decant and the full wear. It's all very different, very different. So you just never know at the end of the day. <laughs> you just never know. Um, so I don't even know if I wanna keep this. I might give this away uh, as a gift because I'm sure plenty of guys will love this one, but I feel like it wore just a little bit more masculine than what I remember it wearing on my skin when I sampled it with my little five mil. So, Ojan Parfums de Marley, it is a very nice scent, but I'm on the fence about this. So I'm going to give it some more full wears, but I just wasn't like completely enamored with it. Like I remember being when I tested this a long time ago. So yeah. Uh, 
Oh, and if you are watching current day, you guys, Joma Shop is having a flash sale from now until the 10th, 11.59 p.m. So just check the description box and use the link in the description box because that will be linked to the sale. Okay, I just wanted to throw it out there. <laughs> All right, so this has just, let me tell you. <laughs> if you like smelling edible, you must start diving into Kais perfumes. And I say that because they do really, really good edible gourmands. And this one has me in a chokehold. And so does another one I'm going to talk about in my gourmands video, uh, either this weekend or next weekend. But this is Gatel de Carnival. And this is centered around funnel cakes. <laughs> You're going to smell like a vanilla funnel cake. And that is all she wrote. You smell delicious. You smell vanilla. You smell sugary. You smell edible but still like a perfume i can find that this is going to layer with a lot in your collection and i just cannot stop wearing this one and i wish that these came in bigger bottles because i will absolutely be repurchasing this one when it's done and i've been wearing it a lot and loving it this one again is by kais perfumes and this one is go to de carnival Okay, I know my phone is getting really hot in my hand, so I'm going to try to wrap this video up before I get burned. <laughs> All right, so this is Argos's uh, Triumph of Bacchus, and this is such a powerhouse saffron scent. It's sweet. It's fruity because you've got like this green apple. You've got this peach. It is tobacco forward. You have this creamy component to it. It's a little vanillic. It is just a vibe. And I find that it is such a beautifully performing fragrance. You do not need a lot. I'm telling you, you will be a-okay with a 30 mil. You see how much I have left. But this is really the time of year to bring this one out. It's super sexy. Again, if you like tobacco, saffron, vanilla, um, you know, with some fruity components, this one you must try. Um... I think this lens is just a little masculine in my opinion, but it's so easily sweetened up with some of your other like more straightforward um, vanilla fragrances. So if you have it and you find that it's just a little masculine leaning, try sweetening it up and I think that you really will enjoy it. I mean, even just right here on this tray, I feel like these will go together really well, okay? So Triumph of Bacchus is just so beautiful and I cannot wait to wear that one a lot more since it's because we're getting 30 degree weather here in Georgia. All right, you guys, so this one is an absolute love and still an obsession for me. Uh, Really getting on down there, okay? I'm surprised I have any love. But this is Bon Bon, not Bon Bon, Lord have mercy. This is What About Pop. This is from the House of Oud. And this is like your salted caramel popcorn fragrance. And you really are getting all of that in the opening. Now, the foodiness of this gourmand, it does die down. And what you're left with is like this sweet, complex floral scent. Um, you got this saltiness uh, from an ambergris. And it is just so unique. It is so beautiful. And this is just one of my favorite gourmands. Like, for the longest, I did not even want to try this. I'm like, how are we trying to smell like caramel popcorn? Like, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. But I decided to to blind buy it. And, I mean, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. But you do have to like those more edible gourmands. It is quite complex. It is really beautiful. Some people compare it to the uh, Chirosa 62. I'm not really getting that. I mean, they both have caramel, but... I don't get caramel popcorn from that one. Uh, so yeah. Um, but if you love the idea of smelling like a caramel popcorn, then this is definitely the one. But this one is, is still elevated. It doesn't smell childish. It doesn't smell overly foodie to where it's like not wearable. Um, but yeah, one I definitely enjoy and will probably be done with this bottle by end of winter because I love it so much. Now, last but not least... <laughs> is Bianco Latte. It took the world by storm. Oh, yes, it did. And this is truly for your really sweet gourmand lovers. So this has honey. It's got vanilla. It's really creamy and delicious. I think it's got caramel as well. You have um, just a really 
really well done powerhouse vanilla gourmand and it is super hyped and to me the hype is absolutely justified so if you want everyone to smell you you want to you know have everyone looking around trying to figure out who's baking you know who who bought in the cakes and cookies uh that's where this one will come comes in at it has oh my god at least 10 hours 10 to 12 hours easy okay and it really really does project maybe too much for some this one i feel like you should definitely try before you buy if you're easily overwhelmed by sweet gourmands i love sweet gourmands so this was actually a wonderful you know successful blind buy um and i i have no regrets i love it love it love it so you guys that is the tray for um you know december take a look <laughs> because if you see me on the streets you you probably will come in contact with me wearing one of these for the month of december you guys again make sure that you are subscribed to the channel be sure notification bell is turned on to all and give the video a big thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow it has been real i love you all youtube and i will catch you guys on the next one